In Creo Parametric, you can use a cycloidal motor profile in a mechanism. Let's take a look at what that means. Here I have an assembly open. If you take a look in the model tree, you can see that there are glyphs next to the two components that look like a box with a dot inside of it. That indicates that both these components have a mechanism connection. Let's go to Applications, and then we can use Mechanism, and you can see that the symbols in the graphics area indicate that this model already has motors, it already has cams in it, so it can already do a cam profile just because of how it is set up. But you can use a cycloidal motor profile in order to simulate the output of a cam. And to make things a little easier to see, I'm going to hide the crank for a second just so I can find the axis that I want to drive. I will select it. And then after I left click on it in the mini toolbar, I can choose the servo motor command. And we can see the entity that's being driven over here. Let me rotate my model a little bit. All right, so we are on the References tab. If we go to the Profile Details tab, we can specify our driven quantity. Since I picked a rotational axis, I can do angular position, angular velocity, and angular acceleration. I also have the choice of torque to create a dynamic entity because I have MDO. But anyhow, let's leave it at angular position. A lot of times if you're trying to simulate a cam profile, you want to use the cycloidal profile with the position, or in this case, the angle. Then we can go to the motor function dropdown list. And here we have cycloidal. And you can see that there are two coefficients, L and T. In order to show how those work, let's jump over to MathCAD quickly. Here I am in MathCAD Prime 7. I created a quick worksheet in order to explain how the motor profile works. So again, we have two different variables or coefficients. We have L, which is the total rise. I've just given that a value of 10 and the period T, which I've given a value of five. And you can see we have our chart component that shows the motion. The blue line that is increasing at a cyclical rate is the position or the angle of the particular component. And then the first derivative of position is the velocity. You can see that in red. And the second derivative of position and the first derivative of velocity is the acceleration, which you can see in green. But here we have the basic equation of motion, whether you are driving the position, velocity, or acceleration. It's going to be that total rise times the fraction of the time that you're at over the period minus that total rise times sine of two pi times the ratio of the current time over the period, all that divided by two pi. And so this is the result that you get out of the motion. So now we see what the motion is going to be. Oh yeah, one other thing that I want to mention about this worksheet, specifically the chart component. Let me select it and I'll use the little plus sign to expand the inputs. In this particular situation, for all three of the plots, I used the same X value. You can do that. You don't have to have a separate X value for each of the Y values that you are graphing. And here we have as the first plot that is going to be the equation of motion that I have over here. And then in order to graph the velocity, which is the first derivative, hey, rather than write a a function to show that first derivative, I just use the prime notation operator that we have in the calculus group. And then in order to show the acceleration, well, I just use the prime operator twice in order to give me that acceleration. So that is a little trick that you can use when you are graphing stuff with the chart component. Let's jump back over to Creo Parametric. So here we have our different values. Let's say that I want to go through 90 degrees 
for my total rise. And then let's give a period of four seconds. And then we can hit the graph button. And here you can see how that is depicted in the chart tool. By the way, this is the same chart tool that you have in MathCAD that I was just looking at. We can use this button in order to get all the different manipulation controls over it. Let's collapse that, and that's fine for now. And let's also display the velocity. You can see how the velocity shows up just like we had in the MathCAD worksheet. Hey, let's also display the acceleration. So there you can see that quantity in our chart tool as well. So there we have our coefficients. We can hit the check mark. And in that way, we have to find a motor profile using the cycloidal option. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.